Over the years, our family's had a share of health problems. So prescriptions are a part of our life. Before we went to the big box store. We both thought it would help us save. But with the long lines and impersonal service, filling prescriptions became a chore. That's when a friend recommended DNH. Now Tristan knows our prescriptions. Brenda always helps us find the right vitamins. And after Dad's fall, Monica's been a real expert with all our home medical needs, all without the lines. Trust and service. That's our DNH. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends and Happy Thanksgiving to you. This is Thursday, November the 28th. It's Thanksgiving Day. And what better topic on Thanksgiving Day than to have our friends from the Salvation Army with us. This is a, it really is a very, very busy day for them, but I'm glad you were able to take out a little bit of time to come and visit us this morning and let the community know uh, what starts today and what starts tomorrow. We have uh, Major Richard Trimmel over there. Good, Good to, to have you. I don't mean Thank to you. pass you up here, Cindy Chapman, <laughs> sitting right next to me. Cindy Chapman, who's been there forever, it seems like it. Yeah, and Captain Katie Harris-Smith, good to have you here, Katie. Thank you. Now, today being Thanksgiving, today is a day that you have the, the meal. Right. Uh, starting at 11 o'clock this right. morning. And Where is that going to be? It's at Lee's Famous Chicken up on Paris and Vandiver. Uh, they've sponsored this for a good number of years for us, and uh, so that's where it's located. And this is open to anybody in the community who wants to come and join you for for Absolutely. Thanksgiving dinner. Absolutely. Come in, no questions asked, nothing to sign. You just come in and enjoy the meal. Yeah. So. What a what a wonderful, oh, wonderful, yeah. wonderful program with right. the Salvation Army. So that will be from 11 o'clock until 1 o'clock today right. at Lee's Famous Fried Chicken, Chicken at uh, Paris Road and Vandiver. Okay. Now, tomorrow, starting tomorrow, the bell ringers are going to be out on the street. Mm -hmm. Yes. How important are those bell ringers? The bell ringers are sort of the lifeblood of the Salvation Army because without their help, we wouldn't be able to uh, collect the money that people, generous people in our community give us. And that money, even though it's collected at this time of year, it's used year round right here locally to provide local people uh, help that they need to get through the year. So it's used year round and the money stays locally. Yeah, and that's so important to keep in mind. And the other thing that I think we need to emphasize with folks is Thanksgiving is late this year. It's, it's a week later, so you're actually losing a whole week of possible fu of fundraising, aren't you? Right. Does, well, that, does that concern you? Well, it does, because when Thanksgiving is a little earlier in the calendar, uh, many of our bell ringing stations don't allow us to start until after Thanksgiving. So if it's earlier in the calendar, 22nd, 21st, or you, whatever. You're out there ringing bells earlier. We've got earlier. A, an extra week when it's the 28th, 29th, like it is this year. That, that really, in a sense, we're losing a whole week. Right. So when you see the bell ringers out on the street, keep in mind that they have one less week to collect, so you might want to give a little bit more if you can, or you can mail in the check. Katie, you're sitting over there, uh, Captain, Captain Katie, you're shaking your head, you, like, you've got something you want to tell us. I would like to tell you that uh, we are excited about our Christmas efforts this year. Uh, the economy says one thing, but we know that people are generous no matter what is going on. And this year we are believing that people will continue to do what they've done year out and that is give to the Salvation Army, especially when you see those bell ringers out there. And we've already uh, shared with them the excitement of people seeing a smile. Mm -hmm. uh, for some people, you know, uh, just a, a happy holidays or a Merry Christmas. And uh, don't forget to, to smile back. And so that we're looking forward to uh, making our goal this year. Yeah, what is your goal this year? Our goal is three hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. That's a lot of money. Three hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. Right. Is that up from last year? Yes, it is. And we did make our goal last year, and this year our goal is just a little higher. And uh, we believe we believe we can make now, it. Now, the money that you take in for the Red Cattle campaign and the Tree of Lights. Three hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. Right. What people will mail in in the envelopes does that go towards that 
uh, towards your goal. Yes. The umbrella phrase that we use is tree of lights. Mm -hmm. So our overall Christmas campaign is called the tree of lights and the mail appeal is part of that and bell ringing is part yes. of that. So we have a goal for each one and then it all falls under that tree of lights. Is there total. a tree of lights uh, downtown anymore? It's not downtown. This year for the first year our tree of lights is located at Ash and Stadium. They're on the Landmark Bank property. It's okay. a 15 foot tree. And you're going to turn a light bulb on for each what? No, we're just going to light it all at once. Oh, you're not going to, you're not going to turn a light bulb on so we can, as you collect thousands of dollars, we can see how it's going? And we thought about doing that, but every time it's my time, it's 20 below zero. So I said, okay, we're lighting the whole thing. And, are you, you uh, going to wait till you make the goal or are you going to light nope, it? We're no. going to light it. Uh, it'll already be lit and it'll, it'll stand there for the entire season. And uh, we'll keep pe people posted as to okay. where we are. But Tell us how this money is spent throughout the year. Well, this, uh, this money uh, does stay here in the community, and it helps support Harbor House, which is our shelter. It supports our pantry, our social services office, and all of the things that we do throughout the year. So uh, we spend, of course, we spend part of that money on our Christmas assistance programs. But this is our largest fundraiser of the year. Yeah. So, um, you know, that's, that's why it's so absolutely important for us. And, you know, I, I think people, I think most people realize that folks who are receiving assistance from the Salvation Army, they're, they're not wanting this. They don't want to be in that situation. It's just that life sometimes throws you a curveball. Mm -hmm. And it's wonderful to know, it's heartwarming to know that there are organizations out there to help when you need assistance. And the Salvation Army is one of those stellar organizations. And I think you have one of the highest ratings of all charitable organizations uh, as far as money being wisely spent. Am, I, am I correct on 86 that? 86 cents of every dollar goes toward uh, our programs. Yeah, okay. So when you see the bell ringers uh, on the street starting tomorrow, please give generously. And uh, if you, if you want to just send a check to the Salvation Army, what's the address that they send it to? It's 1108 West Ash in Columbia, 65203. So, and are you looking for people to help out as volunteers also? Yes, we are. Uh, we can always use volunteers. We need lots of help ringing bells, and, yes. and people make that into a contest within their company or whatever mm -hmm. and uh, compete against each other. And then we uh, distribute toys, and uh, so we can use people to help us sort okay. the toys. So, and if, those if, kinds people, of if people want to sign up to ring bells, what's the phone number to call? 442-3229. 442-3229. Do they ask for anybody in particular? Well, my wife, Major Beth. Okay, ask for Major is, Beth. Major Beth, and they know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you so much for coming by. Happy Thanksgiving Happy to all Thanksgiving of you. I know you, to you. You have to go now and start preparing, working on that dinner. Yes. It's, okay. It's coming just in a few minutes. Yeah. Here. 11 to 1 o'clock today at Lee's yes. uh, Famous Fried Chicken. Thank you so much. Tomorrow, Joan Stack will be on State Historical Society. Our program Program directed by Travis McMillan, Reynolds Journalism Institute, Audio Pat Akers, KBIA, our floor director is Sifun O Young, and our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mauser. Have a good Thanksgiving. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.